Why? <laughs> I don't see any chicken treats yet, video boy. Bring them in here. Brian thinks he's just too clever. Just look at that shirt he's wearing. Like anyone is going to make the connection between the Millennium Falcon and chickens. I could not be happier to announce that this is the first time Ivy Acres Homestead has been asked to review a product. Grub Terra is a small business taking on the massive challenge of reducing food waste in America, while at the same time providing the highest quality feed and treats for your pets. And you can use the discount code GRUB10 to get 10% off and you can use the, <laughs> I'll put a link in the video description. And you can use the discount code GRUB10 to get 10% off of anything there. I've been meaning to do another chicken video and this product review is just a good reason for me to put one together for you. Today, we're gonna to be seeing how our chickens like Grub Terra's black soldier fly larva. Did he say black soldier fly larva? Where is it? Where? Where? Are you chickens ready to try the black soldier fly larva? I don't see any chicken treats yet, video boy. Bring them in here. Before we get to the chicken treats, I wanted to talk about our chicken run. Out here, we have a lot of predators to worry about. So I built this place like a fortress. We have to worry about coyotes, birds of prey, but the ones we really have to look out for are the raccoon. We do have a mobile chicken coop that we call the Mini Cooper. It's got an electric fence around it that allows for some free ranging. But all of our chickens right now are in the main coop. Because our chickens don't get a chance to free range as much as they'd like, this product from Grub Terra will be a healthy supplement for their diet, especially this time of year. In late spring, I'm pulling weeds out here as chicken snacks by the garbage can load. Bugs that go along for the ride with those weeds are especially favored by our chickens. This time of year, our chickens are lucky if they get one small bucket of weeds. I've already made a couple videos if you're interested in seeing more about how our chicken run roof protects our flock from the kind of weather that we get here in the Pacific Northwest. However, I don't think I've ever mentioned why we have two doors on our chicken run. <sighs> For the love of God, just give us the fly larva. Don't talk about the doors.
that first door was a rookie mistake. I thought that it should open inward, so if any chickens wanted to escape, they'd just be kind of scooted back in by the, by the door itself. Well, those chicken weeds, along with other material for the chickens to scratch through and their poop, it just piles up and blocks the door from opening. I also wanted to have the door over on this end rather than in the middle. So rather than reconfigure that one, I just built a whole new door. This door, of course, opens outward, but by watching other YouTube channels, we got the idea of having a separate section on top that could open independently for easy chicken snack distribution and chicken containment. I wanted to make a good impression for Grub Terra. So a couple days ago, I mucked out this chicken run. Sure, you wanted our place to look nice for your video, but everybody could see just how deep it got in here. Maybe you should muck this place out a little more often. I couldn't agree more, but have you seen the state of our coop? Brian, Please muck that out too. Well, maybe I don't clean up out here as often as I could. But hey, that's just how things are. Folks out there may have chickens and a limited amount of time to take care of them. Did you ever think about that? Learning about a healthy and easy feed supplement from Grub Terra while showing a realistic situation just might be convincing. Brian thinks he's just too clever. Just look at that shirt he's wearing. Like anyone is gonna make the connection between the Millennium Falcon and chickens. Yeah, and he got it at Goodwill. Wendy's right. Those shirts do smell like poverty. Hey, I like my Goodwill shirts. One pound of grub, which is what this is, is equal to 20 pounds of food waste that Grub Terra has saved from landfills. They source their food waste from local restaurants and grocery stores. Saving the environment is fine, Brian, but I'm hungry. Give us the goods. The fly larvae are high in protein, fats, and calcium for stronger eggshells and healthier feathers. But I'm not gonna give this whole bag to our chickens all at once. Why? I asked Wendy, where in her kitchen I might be able to store the unused fly larva. She was not amused. My daily routine for chicken treats has been to come out here and get a small scoop of cracked corn that we keep right there in that can. The lid has to be on tight to keep it dry, but also to keep it out of the furry paws of our local population of very well-fed squirrels. I'll probably just keep the parcel bag in that can so on a daily basis I can come out here and give them a little bit of the corn 
Mix in a little bit of the fly larva. Great for our chickens. To make things more interesting, we're gonna do a scientific taste test with our chickens. I've got two dishes here. One will be for the cracked corn, their familiar standby. The other will be for the new Grub Terra fly larva. Are you ready to see what happens? Clearly, they liked both of them, but I think they finished that fly larva sample first. So it's easy for me to say that Grub Terra's product is approved by our flock. What do you think, unnamed chicken? That's her name. It's a little confusing. Are you confused? Did you like the Grub Terra? I like the fly larva, but I don't like my name. Please, call me Gertrude. <laughs>